In today's lecture, we will be discussing something very important, how to get unique values from a list in Python. Now, this is a very important topic and it can prove to be extremely handy when you are playing around with lists in your code. So let's understand the question first. Let's say that this is the given list. So as you can see that this list has the values 1, 2, once again it has 2, 3 and 5. So the output list should be a list consisting of the unique values made from this input list. So that unique list is going to be 1, 2, 3 and 5. So these are the elements that will be contained within the unique list. So as you can see that one of the twos has been removed and we consider only one two from this list. Similarly, if there were any other elements that would have been repeated in the input list, then that element would have been eliminated and this would have been the output list. So I hope that the question is now clear. Let us go ahead and find out the methods that will help us to solve this question. Now the first method that we will be using to solve this problem is to use the append method. So let's have a quick recap of the append method. Append is a built-in list method in Python that is used to include a value to the end of the given list. So let's have a look at an example. So let's say that this is the given list which has the values 12, 42, 21 and 1. So these are the values present in the list initially. Now we are using list.append method to include or append 99 to this list. So as soon as we use this method then this value 99 gets attached as the last element of the list and it is also included as one of the elements in the list. So this is the method that will help us to solve our problem now. So let's see how we are going to use the append method to solve our problem. So let's consider that this is the given list. And now as you can see that this list has lots of duplicate values which is python which has been repeated thrice in this case. Then we also have c which has been repeated twice then java has been repeated twice as well. So we need to eliminate the repeated or the duplicate values and we need to create a unique list out of this given list. So our first task is to create an empty list. Let's name that empty list as L. Now L is the list wherein I will be storing the unique values from the given list Li. So let's move on to the next step. Now we need to iterate across all the elements in the given list Li. So let's use a for loop. And let's say for element in li. So this will help us to iterate over all the elements in the given list li. So the next step is to check if a given element is not present in our list l. So if you remember l is our empty list and we are checking if the element is not present in l. If it is not present in l then we go ahead and append that element to our list l. Now I will explain this to you with the help of this example. So the first element is python. Now when the code checks at whether python is present in l or not, it finds that l is an empty list. So it goes ahead and appends the value python within this list. Now this list has an element python within it. In the second iteration, the element is java and the code once again finds that the java element is not present in our list l. So it goes ahead and appends java within this list l. Once again it moves on to the next element which is c and it finds that c is not present in the list l. So it appends c in the list as well. Now when it moves on to the next element it finds that the next element is c once again. So it finds that c is already present within the list l. So this statement is no longer executed and we move on to the next iteration. So in the next iteration the code finds that the next element is java and once again it finds that java is already present within the list l so this statement is once again not executed. Now it moves on to the next iteration and in the next iteration it finds that the element is python and python is once again present in the list l so this statement is once again not executed and we move on to the next element which is ruby and it now finds that ruby is not present in l. So it moves inside the if block and this statement gets executed and ruby gets appended to our list l. Finally 
next element python and once again the code finds that python is already present in this list so this statement will no longer be executed and we come out of our loop so let's go ahead and let's print the given list first the given list is li and then let's print the unique list which is l so l represents the unique list now let's see if this code works and there we go so this is the output that we expected so this is the first way using which you can find unique elements in a given list now this method has a drawback when it comes to time complexity and space complexity as you can see that we are using another list l to store the output this means we are consuming extra space so is there a way to improve this solution yes there are ways to improve this solution now we will have a look at one such method which will help us to solve this question without using extra space in order to avoid using extra space you can use the set method so let me quickly remind you that a set is a data structure in python which does not allow the presence of duplicate elements so a set will not consist of elements that are repeated hence we will use this property of a set and extract a unique list from this given list so let's see how we are going to do that we will first go ahead and convert li into a set now let's go ahead and print a line. So let's see what happens. As you can see that now we have a set which is created from the unique elements present within given list li. But the problem now is that li now represents a set. So you can simply go ahead and you can once again reconvert li to a list. So this is a two step process. You are first converting the list li into a set which is helping you to extract the unique elements and then you are once again converting that or typecasting that set into a list and if you look closely we are simply playing around with li we are not using any extra list to store the unique elements so this solution is an improvement upon our previous solution so let's go ahead and execute this once again and now as you can see that we have the output list that we wanted well that brings us to our third method or our third way of solving this question and that way is to use the from keys method of dictionary so for those of you who do not know what is the from keys method let's have a look python dictionaries have a method known as from keys which is used to return a new dictionary from a given iterable so in this case the given iterable to us is a list but this can be a set string or a tuple as well so what from keys does is it returns a new dictionary from the given iterable such that converts the elements of the given iterable as keys and attaches the specified value now if no specified value is provided then it considers that these keys have none value so without discussing more theory let us see how this from keys method is going to help us to reach our solution so this is our given list let's say it is li now let's say that we have a variable x and within it we are going to store a dictionary that will be created using the from keys method since from keys is a dictionary method so we have to use dict dot from keys and within from keys we'll pass the given list li now before i show you what actually happened here let me remind you that keys in a dictionary are always unique so no two keys within a given dictionary can be similar or same the values attached to two different keys can be same but two keys can never be same in a dictionary so that property will be used here to solve this question now let's see what is x let's print x let's execute this code and there we go as you can see that we now have a dictionary having key value pairs and since we didn't provide any value to these keys so this dictionary consists of keys which are made from the elements of the list and the values are none 
and if you look closely then the keys comprise of the unique elements present within the list li now all you need to do to extract these keys and then print the output and you can use the keys method which is a dictionary method to extract keys of a dictionary so if you print x dot keys then it will print only the keys of this dictionary as you can see we have the list consisting of the keys in the dictionary now let's go ahead and store these keys within a list and then let's print the output and there we go this is the output that we wanted which consists of the unique elements from the given list li so this is how you can use the from keys method to extract unique elements from a given list now the next method that we will be discussing is to use the counter method of the collections library so we first need to go ahead and import counter from collections so to do that we'll use from collections import counter now counter quite similar to our from keys method what it does is that it creates a dictionary from a list such that the keys represent the elements of the list while the values represent number of times an element is present within the list so let's understand this with this example let's say that we have a variable c and then let's use counter and let's pass li within our counter method now let's go ahead and let's print c and let's find out what happens and there we go as you can see that we now have a dictionary wherein the values represent the elements of the given dictionary i beg your pardon wherein keys represent the elements in the given list whereas the values of the dictionary represent number of times particular element has occurred in this list since python occurred thrice in this list hence the value attached to python is 3 similarly java appeared twice in this list so the value attached to java is 2 c occurred twice as well so the value attached to it 2 finally ruby occurred only once hence the value attached to it is 1 now if you remember we just learned that the keys method is used to return the keys from a dictionary so let's use the keys method that will help us to extract these keys from the dictionary let's print these and as you can see that we have now successfully extracted the keys so can you understand how this is working since keys of a dictionary can never be similar hence we have a dictionary that is created out of the elements from this list li such that all the unique elements become the key for the dictionary now we simply need to convert this to a list and that's it that will help us to retrieve our unique list or our list that consists of unique elements that brings us to our final method now we will be using a different library and that library is numpy so let's import numpy as np now the beauty about the numpy module is that it provides a built-in method known as unique that will help you to extract the unique elements from this given list so all we have to do is to go ahead and print np dot unique and then pass li within the unique method that's it that's how simple this is now let's go ahead and execute this there we go so do you see the beauty of numpy it not only extracts the unique elements but also sorts them in ascending order so that's how powerful the numpy module is with that we come to the end of this lecture i hope you found this to be helpful if you have any doubt please mention them in the comments below and i'll try my best to answer all your queries goodbye